Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Students across the world have increasingly made their frustrations over climate change loud and clear. But a group of Florida students are taking their activism to the courtroom, suing the governor and state agencies. One of the key parts of this case is that the students are not suing based on the inaction of the state. Instead, they lay out specific things the state has done to make climate change worse. Joined by their attorney, the plaintiffs laid out their case to law students at Florida State University. Florida generates more electricity from petroleum than any other state in the nation. Second highest amount of CO2 emissions from electricity in the nation. These are very, very big, big numbers. The students are diverse, ranging from as young as 12 to college aged. The one thing they share is the belief the state's energy policy has put their right to life, liberty and property at risk. Our reality is that these rising temperatures and resulting sea level rise is placing much of the region at the real risk of disappearing. Plaintiff Valhalli Frank, a member of the Seminole tribe, says sea level rise will eventually threaten to destroy her tribe's lands in the Everglades. And you can't really easily move an entire community. If we were displaced, we would lose everything we know. We'd lose our identity. The governor and state agencies involved in the case have asked for the lawsuit to be dismissed. Both sides are expected to make their arguments before a judge in the coming months. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.